hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel i hope everyone is doing well i hope you're having a fantastic day so far it's a brand new day and there are opportunities for us to explore we're going to be looking at target in this video target has different roles open right now it's been a while since i've done a video on target so we're going to be looking at the opportunities they have open before we do that i want to take a moment to just appreciate each and every one of you thank you for continuing to be here and i want to encourage you please go ahead and make sure your notification bell is turned on so you are notified real time whenever i do post new videos also, I mentioned before, we are now on LinkedIn, so please go ahead and follow us there. We are also on Instagram. We are also on TikTok, so make sure you continue to follow our videos on there. Please continue to share with your friends and families. Let's dive right into today's opportunities. As you can see here, Target has several remote leads. So we're going to be focusing on this one that is titled Senior Manager Internal Audit. And this is in marketing. It's a fully remote role, depending on your location. You can also do hybrid because I do know that sometimes some people prefer the hybrid setup where you go into the office sometimes and then you work from home sometimes. This offer you the opportunity to be either fully remote or have the hybrid uh, type of setup. With this position, the salary is between $89,000 and $161,000 per year, and it is in the audit family. You are going to be performing audits. You're going to be reviewing processes. You're going to be making sure all of the activities within the organization, especially with regards to risk management, you're going to be making sure that controls are in place to mitigate risk. You're going to also be the one to make sure as QAing is going to be under the bracket of this job as well, because you're going to be making sure that anything quality related are up to par. This position, your focus is in is marketing, which means that really making sure that all the processes surrounding marketing are acceptable, are also up to par in terms of quality, and also meets the regulatory um, requirements that are associated with uh, the marketing strategies. They do not uh, put a specific skill set per se, but they do talk about bachelor's degree and other relevant uh, professional certifications. If you have CPA, if you have CIA, they want to make sure that you include that in your resume. Six years of audit type of experience, risk, uh, business related, retail experience, all of that are relevant to this position. These are definitely experience that will count beneficial to you. They talk about analytical skill set as well just saying using data as well as analytical tools in solving problems are you a problem solver right so definitely this is one to consider because this role really requires you to dive right in to find root cause of issues to bring about steps to resolve them so that is the first role and one of the things i do want to call out with target that is a recent addition to their website is this section right here now they have an application deadline date. So this is something that is new. I, I noticed it when I was looking at these positions, added category within the job description. So they now have an application deadline for this particular role. It is 516, so which gives approximately uh, two to three days to um, apply for this position before it closes out. The second opportunity we target is titled Field investigator. I know it does say field investigator from an intuition perspective. The first thing is you're going to be in the field, so you would not. This is not a remote position. However, this is a remote position. It's a fully remote role, and you are going to really be doing work surrounding investigations. You're going to be making sure that different brands that they have out there, making sure that they are safe, making sure that these are target specific brands. So similar to every other stores out there, every store would always do a spin-off of a brand that maybe consumers particularly like, they want a spin-off of it so as they can make it cheaper, whatever the case may be. So this individual is someone that is going to make sure those brands are safe. They're going to make sure that the QA of those brands are up to par. They're going to be researching everything that the contents of those brands, and they're going to be making sure, again, that the, the brands are 
safe for consumption, that they are also uh, meeting the quality that it needs to meet so as to continue to be uh, safe for the consumers. This individual is also going to be assisting with a lot of investigation in terms of when risk are identified. You know, we talked about the first one where we were talking about risk uh, mitigation and so forth. This individual is going to also fall in that in that uh, category because as risks are identified, this individual is going to assist in triaging risk resolution and um, bringing about fixes. While the, the auditor is issuing a lot of the caps, these field investigators are the ones that are going to investigate the issue to the core and bring about providing resolution to the root of it so as it doesn't reoccur again. Also to make sure that when it does happen, this, the proper steps have been put in place to resolve them as possible before they cause any harm. So that is uh, what this position is. You are going to be doing a lot of researching. So they're looking for somebody that is going to have expertise in those areas. Also looking for people that are comfortable with providing feedback to others, someone who is comfortable with interacting with multiple people in different departments. This position is asking for a bachelor's degree is what they are looking for. And three plus years of retail assets, loss prevention, criminal justice experience someone who is able to meet any state or local licensure or other legal requirements relevant to their position. So they are looking for people that are in compliance with the law. Also, we have quite a list of soft skills on here. They talk about building strong relationships, like I've already mentioned before, someone who's very composed, able to work with different individuals, someone who is very outspoken from a, a verbal as well as a read, written perspective. So communication has to be very strong with this individual, strong interpersonal skills, and so forth. So that is really what they're looking for with this uh, position. And for this particular one, the deadline uh, for this application is 522. So that gives approximately a little over a week to apply for this position before it closes out. All right, so we're going to move on to the next role, which is the last role I have for this video, is the accountant payroll. Just as the title implies, you're going to be an accountant and your focus is going to be payroll, which is making sure that employees are getting uh, their payment for their jobs, the hours they've worked, making sure that they are paid for it. So whenever there are any type of issues, this is the individual that employees will be outreaching to. They could be one of you in a team and making sure that any type of issues, concerns they have are resolved as quickly as possible and making sure that any mispayment are compensated as quickly as possible. And if there are any discrepancy, researching those discrepancies and making sure that a proper resolution happens. So with this position, the salary is between between $54,000 and $98,000 per year. In addition to that, what are they looking for? This one, you need a four-year degree in accounting, then you write because this is an accounting position. So they do need you to have a bachelor's degree in accounting or finance. They are also looking for someone that has Excel skill set that makes sense because as an accountant, you work off Excel a lot. So they are looking for you to be very comfortable with that. Payroll knowledge and experience is a plus, but it's not required. They also have um, project execution, system testing in this bucket as well. If you are somebody that has experience in, in system testing, especially UAT, you would be good for this position because that is one of the things you're looking for. Problem solver, someone who has a very high level of curiosity, someone who's able to learn, who is willing to learn. And those are some of the soft skills that they have listed here. You're going to be doing a lot of collaboration and that makes sense because you're responsible for people's payment across the organization. So those are the jobs for this video. I hope you find them helpful. Give this video a thumbs up. Till next time, I wish you all the very best of luck and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.